Recently, an ex-UFC fighter and a Venator FC champion, Luke Barnett, visited our academy and showed us some really cool stuff. If you'd like to learn how to control and ground and pound your opponent, stay tuned and watch this short video. If you want to master MMA fundamentals, check out my instructional called MMA Essential Lessons. In it you can learn about clinch takedowns, boxing, grappling, Muay Thai, ground and pound, Thai and puppet master clinch, escapes from inferior positions and shooting takedowns. Check out the link in the description below. You want Now you want to cause damage. Damage is more important to you now than trying to get him down or control. Fans and in fighting, especially now, people want damage. They want to catch him with big shots. And the thing is, in, in training, you can train this forever and nothing really happens. But it only takes one good bump and you can win a fight from this position. He's done many times you see, I think Dan Henderson's the best example. Yeah, yeah. He catches a shot like this and the fight's over from there. So this is a very dangerous spot. It just doesn't feel it so much in training, especially if you do jiu-jitsu because you hear a lot, you know. So you're controlling here, the wrists, there's lots of different applications you can make, but I'm not doing anything with my legs. So what I like to do is take this knee, bump him forwards, and clasp my foot underneath this leg. So we're in this position now. Okay. Can you do it again, please? So I want, my, I want to control this ankle, so I really want to get my leg on this ankle, but He's going to have his weight back or whatever. You wait for the right time. If you can't get him off, you bump with your knee in his ass. Pull. Yeah, nice. <laughs> and then from there you control and wrap. And once I wrap this leg, I sit on it. I'm not like forward like this. I sit on it. Now I have complete control of his ankle. Feels a bit weird to start with. Can almost hurt a little bit if you have tight calves, yeah? But now I have good control of this leg. Good control of this hip and good control here. Now if I'm hitting him, you see a lot of the time people try and stand up, stand up. Stand up. Stand. If I stay down on this leg, stand, 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 stand. It's difficult for him, yeah? It slows him down. But it takes a lot of practice because if I feel him getting up, up, a lot of people might try and get up with him and that's when they lose the position. So now I need to stay down. So we're here and I'm here. He tries to get up. It's not part technique. Well, like which is a tricky. Push him over the poker. So yeah, here controlling ball, 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 knee. Control this leg here. We just continue the same. Now, if you're more of a jiu-jitsu guy, as he tries to stand up, most people will stand up on this leg. Then I'm going to slip this leg in. I can go see both if I want. I don't want him, I want to stand up back here. From here, now from this position. Now one hook, one hook's all I need to control the guy. Now I'm seatbelt, once I'm on his back. Yeah. With me. So, the big mistake people make in this position before he has the leg. If I'm here and I want to stand up, I need to stand up with this leg. I need to stand up this way. You have to beat this. Because if I stand up this way, I leave all this space for the hook. Or, forget the hook. He just pulls me down here. Put it down, put it down. Yeah. Stand up. That's way more calm. Because I have control of this space. So he stands up. A lot of attacks. <laughs> So, I want to make him stand up that way, yeah? The only way I can make him do that is I can shut down this leg, which is why I bump this. He made it out. 
And now he has no choice but to stand up with this leg. Yeah, no choice, because he can't stand up with this leg. So I can now come inside and grab this if I want, and flatten him that way, or I can take this leg. I like to use my hand. I have very long arms, but now it's like I have two hooks. But really one hook is my arm. But I like this in there. Now from here, I have a lot of different positions I can take or whatever, but clapping down here is good enough. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> All that sort of stuff. But I like to be here. One hook. If, if I feel him rolling, I see how I control this with the other. Now two hooks. Why do we need two hooks? Because in jiu-jitsu competitions, you score points for two hooks. It never might mean jack shit, it means nothing. This, this is much more productive. Because if I'm in this position, I can attack jokes, hands, punch, do whatever I want to keep this elevated. If he tries to roll this way, oh, roll this to roll. No, no one more. Come in. Hey. He needs this leg. Exactly. So now roll. <laughs> Slows him now. Okay. So. Like the same with the evolution in these positions, it's more about control than thinking traditionally scoring points. Yeah, a lot of people in this position want to do this because maybe they want to take the back and get my two hooks or whatever. I don't care about two hooks, I care about causing damage. So it's taking the, the mentality of martial arts, but you, you're, you're winning a fight here, you're not looking to score points. Yeah, and judging in MMA is so suspect now anyway, they see that. Judges don't know about the. If I go here, they don't know this means more than this. So I do all that work to get two hooks and to go like this. When I can, just come in here and pull them out. And I've got the same position, if not better. You know? So I was always taught position before submission. Now, yes, but I need to funnel him into that position. So it doesn't have to be traditional positions. If I want to, I can start, I could stay here all fight. If he's not getting up, bomb, 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 bomb. I do whatever I want. I don't have to progress position and look to take the back, which is kind of how your mentality is. You don't need to anymore. So anyway, for the drill, I've been talking too long, which is pretty much my whole life. Um, <laughs> I'm going to put my knee, I'm here controlling, controlling, I'm just going to take my, my back knee, slam it here, and take this hook. Then we get to this position. You're going to let him get up, up, and you've got two choices. You come inside, you grab this, see how I've still got his leg, here, yeah, and then you, from here you can go straight to mouth. Many MMA champions use ground and pound as their go-to strategy. If you want to learn how to do it properly, check out my total ground and pound blueprint instructional. The link is in the description. If you like this video, like it and share it, and you can also subscribe to my channel. And if you'd like a more in-depth MMA training, check out my instructionals. My name is Mark Leichner from MMACoach.net and I will see you again very soon.